Good evening, everyone. I'm just hopping on a little early to try to get, just to kind of give people time to hop on and we can get started quicker, possibly, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm just gonna share to a couple places and then Everybody grab your pen and pencil and grab um, a beverage of choice, possibly. What else? Grab your loved one. How's that go? Do the two-step. <laughs> yeah, it's getting old now, isn't it? I have that. Um, oh, it won't let me. Well, let me share two. Hmm. hmm. Share to the event. Go that route. Hey, Jerry. I'm trying to share. I can't share it to my personal page, which is a mother of bitches. Um. Can go hmm. that route though. Copy. It's really disturbing to actually see yourself <laughs> on video and hear it. I used to think it was hard to talk to nobody, but actually it's harder to hear yourself. Um, and that's worse. All right, one second. Last chance for his glance. All right, um, and it won't let me share it to my freaking, oh boy, thanks, Facebook. Hey, Sarah. Okay, it is shared everywhere. Now, I need to get off of where I am so I can't see it. And I can still see it. Okay, scrolling. <laughs> like, I don't want to see me. I can just here. It's fine. It's plenty. All right. It is 731. Um, thank you. If you're catching the replay um, later on, hello. Um, for those of you that are live right now with me, hi. Um, I will try to keep this semi-short, but we have a lot to go through. So um, I just want to make sure that everybody, I have sent emails, emails more than one. I have posted more than once <clears throat> in my VIP group. On my business page on my Instagram account I've even mentioned other things um, on TikTok and I legit have tried to have text every single person I can think of on my discontinued list so y'all can't say I didn't freaking tell you if I, if you didn't read it I can't help you if I have your wrong email address make sure I have your right one if I have your wrong cell number make sure I have your right one um, I have tried to do due diligence with all of you to let you know if your favorites are leaving so um, twice a year since he gets a new catalog and so before we get the new catalog we have a month called transition month which is August and it is February so this is the current catalog and what it looks like right now this catalog ends on Sunday more or less um, so Saturday night which is when I'm putting the order in so if there's anything you need from this catalog please let me know as soon as possible because that order I want to put through on Saturday night. Um, everything, almost everything is also 10% off this month from this catalog. So even including your six packs of wax or your six Scentsy scent packs or um, some other goodies that maybe you didn't realize like some of the Disney products. So now's the time. Diffusers, it's a great time to get yourself a good deal on a diffuser because they're 10% off. So all these things, right? So I'm going to quickly go through a couple of the things I really want to, um, in case you're not sure what it looked like, this is what your discontinued list looked like when I sent it to you and posted it. And then I posted pictures recently of all the things that are leaving. So the first thing that is being discontinued is this warmer here um, that is called Around the World. So that is, and of course, again, 10% off. 
um, the Eiffel Tower, oh, I'm backwards, the Eiffel Tower Warmer, um, uh, Midnight in Paris is also being discontinued. So, um, again, what I tell people that maybe own these warmers as well, order your replacement dish now while it's on sale. And that way, in case an accident happens, um, you will have a replacement dish available as well. Um, we have the Country Light Warmer that is discontinued, the Cream Diamond. These are kind of fun, funky that we're leaving, I have to say. So the Cream Diamond was this one. Um, the Country Light, do we have that one in the catalog? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't see that one. I don't see that one. Country Light wasn't featured. Um, however, the Havana Hideaway is also leaving, which is, oops, good Lord, this backwards thing, which is this one right here. I have the camera flipped so that it, it reads the correct way for you. Um, the Darling White and um, Tudor are also being discontinued, which oh, I love those warmers. And I know a lot of you have those. Um, the dishes for those are a little bit easier to source than like the Midnight in Paris and um, the Around the World one. Um, another, so Darling White looks like, uh, oops, that one. So that one's being discontinued. Um, Tudor. I thought Tudor was in here as well, to be honest, but I could be wrong. Um, I won't go through all of them, but there's some that I just kind of want to. Another Day in Paradise, Bali. The Bali Warmer. For those of you who love your Bali Warmers, because I know I have quite a few of you out there that love your Bali Warmer. Your Bali Warmer is the big Buddha head that is finally being discontinued. That's been around since I've been in, and it's been around longer than that even. So um, the big Bali head. So that one is being discontinued. In case you need dishes, again, different dishes. Um, Carrera Pinhole Paisley. Pinhole Paisley is getting discontinued. But I have to tell you, I don't think it gets a fair shake in this catalog because it doesn't really show up that great. Um, it's a beautiful white warmer. I think it would make a great gift, to be honest, if you're not sure of their taste. Um, Queen Pineapple. Now, the, the dish, we don't have a separate dish in Queen Pineapple, but um, that Queen Pineapple is being discontinued as well. Sunny Beach, which always looked to me like a 70s retro t-shirt. Um, ironically, also not in this catalog. Um, here's the Tudor one that I was talking about, too. That one's getting discontinued as well. That dish you might want to grab because I don't know too many of those. Um, the big surprise of warmers that are being discontinued. And I just laughed because I'm like, I haven't seen it in this catalog. Is the Hoot warmer. Hoot is the big owl warmer that has been around again, like Bali, for a long, long time. And a lot of you have that warmer. I'm actually going to run a report and just kind of hopefully contact everybody that has one because your Hoot dish is a very special particular dish. So if you have the Hoot warmer, you want to make sure you get yourself a replacement dish. Order it now while it's on sale and um, have that tucked away in case something happens. Because as you know, that dish is shaped very, very differently than just your normal dish. So I would say grab one or two of those um, just to be smart. And then you have to write yourself a note of where you put it just in case. Because if you're like me, you'll forget. Um, we also have the Blue Whale Warmer on sale, the Black Zebra, the Love Warmer, and the Share Your Heart Charity Warmer, um, full size and small. So both of these warmers, um, the full size ooh, and the mini warmer, they have all the little heart details on there. These, This was the charity item in this catalog. Um, and we're still going on that. So if you would like one, this is not on sale because it is a charity item. But... Um, when you buy the either one of these warmers, money goes to World Vision in Australia if you're buying from Australia or New Zealand if you're buying in New Zealand. So um, we have 
seen what it can do for lots of people and it's not too late to keep giving some more money and ordering that warmer. It's a beautiful warmer. I think even would be lovely for somebody to tuck away for Valentine's Day or an anniversary because of all the love on it. You know, when you're not trying to kill each other, you're, you're showing your love. All right, Scentsy Bars that are being discontinued. I know, the hoot. I can't believe it's going. It's a big dish, too. So, again, if you have a hoot warmer, get some hoot dishes because that's a little dish that doesn't fit on any other warmer. Um, Scentsy Bars that are leaving, just so you know, Scentsy Bars are your wax bars. So we have Aloha Citrus, Apricot Vanilla, Ariel Under the Sea, which I really like. Um, Belle Enchanted Rose, Berry of Paradise, Blue Grotto. <laughs> Someone kill me. Um, Bondi Bungalow, Bubblegum Blast, Candy Crave, Cinderella Happily Ever After, Cucumber Hibiscus. I know a bunch of you have been upset about that one. Dazzling Pomegranate. Now, this one has come back twice, if I'm not mistaken. So you never know if it'll be back in spring or in fall that's weird because it's more springy scent. anyway it could be back later um french lavender that was a big one i've i had probably i had over 20 pages of of excel sheet um of lists of names of people to contact about which things were being discontinued French lavender was probably the number one thing I had to warn people about, and it's just very sad. Um, friend, fuzzy blanket, hundred acre wood, just keep swimming. <laughs> um, Laughapalooza, thank goodness. Lemon verbena, that was another one that's been around for a long time, and that one's going as well. Lovely lychee, every time I smell lovely lychee, I think about when Chloe, um, started using perfume and used too much and got out of the shower and the whole house was smell like you know a 12 year old girl using too much perfume it was really funny oh, kind of fruity sweet but yet perfumey um meant to be that was one as usual our new releases don't unless they're really popular don't really stick around mixed berry pavlova i thought that was interesting that they were taking that one away um mulan true to your heart I know I was one of the few that enjoyed that scent. Thank you very much. I know you all hated it. Um, pink Cotton. Pink Haze. That one. <gasps> pink Haze. I know y'all got upset. Like, legit upset. Like, I'm surprised you weren't banging down my door. Um, strawberry Swirl. I had a lot of people quickly stock up on Strawberry Swirl. The scent packs and the wax. Um, strawberry Taffy. Sugar. Sugar is another one that y'all love. Tropic Tango and Windowsill Breeze. I had so many people that liked Windowsill Breeze, but yeah, obviously not enough. <laughs> now, scent circles. Scent circles are, you know, scent circles. Let's see if I can get one. To, I'm trying to get a scent circle looks like that. You can hang them where your rubbish bin is. You can hang them on the back of the toilet tank. You can hang them in your cars. You can hang them in your lockers. You can hang them wherever you like as long as they don't touch things or get too warm because the essential oils will damage things because all essential oils are pretty damn potent. So read the directions on the back, just like the ones you get from Super Auto. Read the directions on the back. You'll be surprised what you learn. So scent circles. By the way, this is my favorite. It's sheer leather. Um, apricot vanilla, Ariel under the sea, Belle enchanted rose, Cinderella happily ever after, French lavender, um, lemon verbena, Mulan true to your heart, pink haze, and sugar. Now, what makes this whole French lavender thing really weird for me is because I'm still collecting scent packs for the Kidney Society. I have ordered a lot, a lot. Of those in Zen Garden um, as relaxation scents. So, gotta find something else. Scent packs. Scent packs are the little pillowy things, little bean bags, right? Aloha Citrus, Blue Grotto, Bubblegum Blast, Candy Crave, French Lavender, um, 100 Acre Wood, Pink Haze, I know, a Strawberry Swirl, and Sugar. So, if you need any of those, 
for kids toys for your drawers for your in your pillows while you're sleeping for um your scentsy buddies if kids like that smell and it's going to be discontinued you might want to grab a couple extra packs um for your car for your gym bag for your desk at work for scent packs can go on pretty much anywhere so they're amazing scentsy pods can we all just take a moment oh my god um Everybody of my customers know that this puppy right here is my lucky scent. <laughs> and it's being discontinued. This is Blue Grotto. And Blue Grotto, I don't warm it in the wax that often, but I love it in the pods. And um, when I am traveling and when I am in and out of businesses or even the drive through people say, oh my God, why do you smell so good? What smells so good in your truck? And I can legit sell these just standing next to people with this scent. None of the other scents work, just this one. So now I'm going to have to find a new lucky smell. So um, Blue Grotto scent pods, pink haze and sugar. So they're taking the sugary ones away from my pink haze and sugar people. I don't like them, but I know so many of you that do. So if you want some pink haze and sugar pods, order them before Saturday while they're on sale um, and stock up on those. So... Um, so, God bless, actually, Oprah bless. Um, room sprays, if you're in Australia, you got, we're going to get rid of French lavender and sugar room sprays. So room sprays look like this. Um, and people in Australia can order those off of my website by clicking the flag and, um, and selecting the Australia flag and they ship to an Australian address. Um, quickly, I just want to remind people if there are bars that you are getting rid of or that are going bye bye, I should say, if you have bars that are leaving and you really love that scent like French lavender or lemon verbena, cause those two are the so popular, um, you can go to my website, click on Scentsy Club. There's an explanation of what Scentsy Club is and how it works, but you can also ask me. And you can add them to a Scentsy Club order. And Scentsy will make them for as long as you want them, as long as they're in your Scentsy Club order. Now, I'm just going to take a second to talk about this because I do have several people on it and they love it. And I've teamed up with one of my customers and we do our orders together. So I just give her the money and she places, it comes off her credit card because um, she's a friend and a customer. Um, but she had it started already and that was why once um, Woody from Toy Story came out, I was like, oh my gosh, can you add that to your Scentsy Club order for me so that we can split the shipping? Because here's the deal. The shipping um, is $15 no matter how much you order. It comes directly from Scentsy to your house and you decide how often you want it. You can get it every month, every two months, or every three months. Now for me, every three months is fine. I am not a waxaholic. Every three months is fine for me and even paying a little bit more for the bars of wax that I like. Um, I did order a Sunny and Share and a Southern Evening from the Bring Back My Bar and also put it in there. So I have three bars coming every three months, right? Um, once the Darth Vader one comes, I'll be adding that one too because it's amazing. Um, so that's the beauty of that one. If you add it to your Scentsy Club order, Scentsy will continue to make it for you as long as you order it. Even if you're the only one. How cool is that? Is So what we've decided is we've got two people or three people going into one order every three months and that way we're only each paying $5 shipping. So who can you go into to do that? Um, obviously somebody you trust, <laughs> not even gonna lie. Um, or some people just do it on their own. A lot of people get whiff boxes every month and their washer whiffs every month, um, that or every two months, whatever your usage cycle is. But you can change dates, you can skip an order, there's all things in there. 
you can quit and cancel at any time. It's no big deal. So have a look at it. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, but if you really, really love your bars and you don't want them leaving, that's the best way to make sure you always have them for the rest of your life or until you don't want them anymore, right? Um, the other things, unfortunately, aren't the same. So it's just the bars. But again, if you're already getting the order um, you might as well add things to it that you're going to order from me anyway, and then you're getting it all at once whenever you need it. So um, let me know if you have questions about Scentsy Club. But if you do go to my website, um, pattywonder.scentsy.co.nz, you can go and click on Scentsy Club, and there's a brilliant video there. There's cute graphics. It explains everything, but if you still don't get it, let me know. I'll be happy to help. All right. Body products. Let's just say all the sugar body products are leaving. I don't think I sold that many sugars, just to be honest. Vanilla bean buttercreams, I've had a couple people stock up on those. So all the vanilla bean buttercream ones have um, are going to be discontinued as well. Um, and the Oodles of Orange Body Wash. So if you're a fan of any of those. Clean products, this one I'm not happy about. <clears throat> the By the Sea Bathroom Cleaner, By the Sea Counter Clean. Sea Salt and Avocado All-Purpose Cleaner, not happy. Um, sugar hands, oh, oops, sorry. Sea salt and avocado bathroom cleaner, sea salt and avocado counter clean, sea salt and avocado dish soap. Not happy, Sensi, just not happy. Um, the, um, sea salt and avocado Sensi Fresh, white tea and cactus bathroom cleaner, white tea and cactus counter clean. Um, then in our laundry, I, please don't shoot me through the screen, but coconut lemongrass and sunkissed citrus in all laundry is being discontinued. And let me just say, this will go fast if it does hit the clearance section in a couple months on, our, on my website. So if you love sunkissed citrus or coconut lemongrass in your laundry products, I really highly recommend it grabbing it this week. Well, it's on sale as well, but I don't know how much more you're ever going to get. So if you really love it, grab it. Um, kids, hmm, I can finally keep my toys. A lot of times I buy things and go, oh, I'll just do it till they get discontinued. Um, so <laughs> Dory's being discontinued. I originally bought this to go on my key ring. <laughs> smells so good. I love her. As you all know, I love my Dory. So Dory's being discontinued and she's on sale right now. So if you want the Dory um, buddy clip that is going and on sale. If you want the Nemo buddy clip also, oops, sorry, <laughs> also on sale and leaving at the end of this week. I like that smell. Some people just don't. I'll just keep swimming. My other one of my other favorites is Pep. Pep is finally retiring. Pep's been around a while. I don't know if it's a girl. It's um, it's gender fluid. I have no idea what the gender is of this thing. I call it a hairball. It does have eyes, but it smells like grape hubba bubba. And it still smells amazing. And it's been traveling around for me for a while now. So that one's leaving. Um... Scout the Dragon Scentsy Buddy Clip is leaving. Winnie the Pooh Scentsy Sidekick is leaving. And Tigger Sidekick is leaving. So this dude is heading out and retiring. It's a sensory toy. It has the um, crinkly arms and crinkly legs and Velcro hands. So you can hang them on certain things. You've got the teething rings here that are dishwasher safe. You can also add different things to that little ribbon pull. Um, if you need his butt really well, you can smell the 100 acre wood scent. It's a very light scent. Um, but so Tigger is on his way out of, he is being discontinued. We do have some other ones that are coming though. So fret not. Um, so that is leaving for the to kids. Is there any questions on discontinuing products? Yeah, I don't know. 
You can think so, Anna. Well, grab some more peps. Grab some more peps. Um, so again, they are available basically until Sunday. No, well, yeah, Sunday morning. So don't hold off. You can order on my website. Um, if you can choose August parties, that would be great. And order from that party order. That helps me out a heap. Um, but if you have any questions on this, please let me know. Now, I know you all like it when I do my first sniffs. So I'm going to do first sniffs. We have a small amount of new scents this catalog. I'm gonna grab the new catalog so that I can tell you what the description is. This is the new catalog. Notice some things. Notice some things. Notice some things. Yeah. Okay. So, um, We're going to do first sniffs first, and then I'm going to show you the new stuff because some of it is damn cool. Like, I think this is, I probably said it the last one too. I think this is one of the best, most exciting catalogs we've ever had because they just keep coming out with amazing, amazing things. So, all right. Um, I will tell you that six cents are returning. It's holiday time, so for those of you that love our holiday fragrances, there are some returning fragrances. There's actually six returning fragrances, um, which is funny, and five of them are holidays. So, the first one that's returning is a Very Merry Cranberry, for all those that like that one. Crimson Pahutakawa, Crimson Pahutakawa has returned for the holidays. Silver Bells, one of my favorites. I love that. I wish that I wish they'd make that in pods, to be honest. Cinnamon Vanilla. Now, every time somebody says cinnamon in this region, they all look at me like it's my fault that we have this. But there are some people that really do like cinnamon. And I think of all the cinnamon fragrances we've had since I've been in over here, um, I've only been in Scentsy over here, but I'm thinking people like what they purchase over here. This is the one that's been purchased the most, um, f at least through my customers. So it's cinnamon vanilla. It's a nice cinnamon. I think you could actually take this and mix it with a lot of different things to create some really cool scents. Um, for all you people that love this one, you're going to be so happy. Hug in a mug. Hug in a mug is back. Ugh. can't do it sorry kids but i know you can i know people love that one hugging a muck mug is chocolate hazelnut and cookie dough so if you like your sweet things you'll be happy that's back and then one of my favorite holiday scents it's also back in the pods is eskimo kiss it's one of my favorite pod scents for my scentsy go so I'm quite happy that Eskimo Kiss is back. So that is six cents that have come. Ha! Ah, six cents. Anyway, sorry. Bad jokes. You know me doing my lives. If you're in my VIP group, I get a bit dorky. All right. So we have 10 new scents never smelled or released before. So I'm just going to go down the list. The first one is Botanical Garden. So this is Botanical Garden Green Wax. It is going green is easy with this bushel of just picked Hoya leaves, fresh aloe, and lush wild ivy. If you were a lover of serene green or you like grassy green smells, fresh, You'll probably like this. Some of you, I know you, will go, it smells like toilet cleaner. Because everything seems to smell like toilet cleaner to everybody in New Zealand. I don't know what that's about, but you all have a problem with that. But it's light. It's very light. Again, I can't smell as good as I used to. So I would like to warm it and see what it smells like warming. Um, but 
clean, if you like clean and you like green, this is your jam right here, Botanical Garden. Next one is Make Waves, a botanical haven brimming with wild fern, mission fig, and hints of crushed rosemary and coconut water. Do you know I can't remember what these smell like? You can tell I didn't love them all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so if you love... I can't smell the coconut, which is okay, because I don't do well with coconut. Somebody else might be able to smell it. I don't smell coconut real well when I smell. Um, if you like things that smell like rain or oceans or water and fresh and clean and... It's very, it's very um, cool and crisp. I don't like chamomile either, but, oh no, that's the next one. Mission fig, crushed rosemary, wild fern. I don't smell anything but maybe the fern. It's amazing. I will have to tell you, we went to a fragrance class while we were at, um, while we were in Australia for our um, Scentsy family reunion. And they were saying that in every single bar of wax, in every single scent, there are over, I think it was 60 different scents, like ingredients in each bar to create the scent that it is. I have to go back and look at my notes. But honestly, um, it I was like, what? <laughs> Blew my mind. Oh, here. 50 to 80 elements per Scentsy oil. Sorry, per Scentsy oil. Um, rose. To have pure rose oil, you need 10,000 of rose plants to get a tiny vial. So that's why they have to be able to produce more rose oil as well otherwise they would deplete the world of roses kind of thing you know so um really fascinating really fascinating but 50 to 80 elements just to create yeah crazy all right now and zen is the next one um sunny grapefruit balances calming chamomile and a yin and yang kind of love story if you like grapefruit you like it's like a it's like you're eating grapefruit on your deck on the beach. That's what that one smells like to me. It's very clean, but that little ping of citrus, grapefruit citrus, is definitely in there. I have a feeling this one might be popular, actually. I just, I just kind of going by what my customers usually kind of are drawn to. I think my customers will like that one. This is the patty scent of the group. <laughs> Pacific sandalwood. There's the wood. Um, creamy vanilla, cashmere, and cozy cotton drift over an expanse of warm Pacific sandalwood. Or did I not like this one? No, I didn't like this one because it's sweet. Somebody would say it's on the same level of vanilla suede. And I love vanilla suede and quite funny, um, some friends of ours their kids said, oh, mom, when you warm that, it reminds me of Patty and Earl. So Patty and Earl have their own scent called Vanilla Suede. And we love that smell. We warm that a lot. And I have, I think, three bars here. And I'm just very stingy on warming them. Um, but it, it, it's lighter than that. But it's still that sweetness. Somebody's going to love that. And they're going to go, there's sandalwood in there? Because... It's not a wood to me. It really isn't. This is like faux wood. This is like the stuff at Ikea. It's faux wood. Just kidding. All right. Next one is salted lavender. Ooh, I do like this one. How weird does that sound? Salted lavender. Just take that in a second. All right. I'm going to read this in a very English way. So a classic English lavender mingles with the ocean minerals and timber wood for a salty twist on tradition. Did I do okay? Well, that is my English. I have to do lots of things with my face. Okay, so salted lavender. Oh, so good. Yep, loving this one. So weird. It's so weird, but wonderful. 
it's got this like soapy esqueness to it like like this could come out in laundry i'm just saying and it would work but it's not like you could smell salt but you know how when you have salted caramel there's just something different because of the salt it's it's like that it's it's a bizarre classic english i have to read it like an american now sorry classic english lavender mingles with ocean minerals lots of ocean minerals and timberwood yeah, a little bit for a salty twist on tradition. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. I can't wait to actually get that one. So, salty lavender with ocean mist. You just need it in your warmer. That was my kiwi warmer. You have to come up on the end, and you have to get rid of all the R's and make them A's warmer. Yeah, for your warmer. Okay. Next, I'm going to get like beat up for this. Oh, thank you, Anne-Marie. <laughs> Next one is Summer. Summer. Every time I read it, I think of the song, Summer Breeze Takes Me Away. Going through. Mm -hmm. You know the song. Back in the day, the old people on here will remember that song. This one's called Summer Rain. Summer Rain. Dew sprinkled cyclamen. Somebody out there, you can tell me what that is. I think it's flower. Fresh botanicals and a pinch, a pinch of black lava salt. Like, who farmed that? Who, who went and collected black lava salt? Um, conjure, I love that word, conjure the earth sweet scent of a passing southern storm. Do sprinkled cyclamen, fresh botanicals and a pinch. A black lava salt conjured a sweet scent of a passing summer storm. <laughs> That's how that, that read to me in my brain when I was reading it. You're welcome. Okay. So summer rain. Oh, that's good. Again, if you like. Actually, this would be really nice in a baby's room, too, to be honest. It's very fresh. It helped with the litter. Or litter. I can tell I don't have kids. The diaper pail or the diaper genie or whatever the heck you use. It's very fresh. It's very light. But it's really kind of relaxing. Apparently you didn't all like my witch impersonation. But yes, summer rain. It's floral, but it's a light floral. And it's more fresh than floral. I think that one might do well as well. Um, next one, sweet berry. I know I hate this one. So this one's all you people with that like berries. Um, a bucket of blueberries and blackberries sweetened by vanilla and garnished with a sprig of lavender. Lavender seems to be a trend. I can see this coming in a bath bomb for some reason. It's not, but when I smell it, I think of things like that. This is not my jam. This is the color. So those of you usually sense these very, I tend to like the same kind of colored things. So usually that's a clue for people. I can smell. I swear there's some sort of wood in this at some point. But. It's berry, but there's it's an earthy berry, in my opinion. It is it's not a patty smell, but you guys will like it. <laughs> you know me, I like whatever. Okay, so this one I really like, but it's weird. It's called the pitch. Here's the word again: conjure. Oh my god, I haven't read this catalog completely. Conjure the excitement of an early morning game with the winning lineup of dewy greens, sunny citrus, cedar wood, and fresh air. So basically it's supposed to smell like grass or the ball game, right? And it does. <laughs> um, it's not so over grassy that you're going, like I'm allergic to certain grass. I'm just allergic to things that I don't like, which is dust and grass. Be interesting. This might be a borderline toilet bowl one for you people too. But it's clean, but I'd like to warm it just to see what it smells like warmed. Maybe it'll smell like I just mowed my lawn when I don't have a lawn. 
just to be up with the Joneses. I'll warm it so it goes on at 7 o'clock while I'm still sleeping while they're mowing the lawn. All right, so that is called The Pitch. I don't mind that one. Take it or leave it. This one, this one's really good. Um, I think this one's going to be a big one. I think the guys will like this one too, to be honest, that like citrus things. Pink grapefruit, Italian mandarin, and a mango puree strike a smooth vibe with coconut cream. It's called Vibin'. It is sweet and it's orange for the color people out there. It is it is citrusy with a little extra salt and salt. That's what that is. So I think that one will be very popular. And the last one is called You're the Zest. Juicy apricot, sparkling mandarin, and mango are bright as a button over a splash of green tea. Is that an English thing? It sounds English. Oh, I don't remember liking this one, but I kind of do now. Again, very fresh. Very light. I think if you liked 100 acre wood, but a little bit more green, it kind of gives me that vibe. But, but I like it. It's fresh. Again, lots of fresh ones this time. So that is all of your new releases that's it how crazy is that all right so let me show you let me entertain you our make a wish item i've been dying to show you yes you heard me right we our new charity for this catalog is make a wish Y'all have heard about Make-A-Wish, you know, like if I was dying, I could see if Dwayne Johnson wants to come over and like hang. Um, actually, I'd really want to drive some of the cars from Fast and the Furious. Anyway, digressing. Um, this warmer, it says Faith, Dust, and Pixie Dust. Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. And the dish, do they have a picture of just the dish? The dish actually has Tinkerbell in it when you look at it. Um, and all the little lights light up. And this, when you purchase this warmer, money goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. How cool is that warmer? I can't, I just, it's so cute. Peter Pan, Disney, World Vision, you can't go wrong with that. Not even a little bit. And they talk about, in the catalog, kind of um, giving back and how since you, we always believe in giving more than you take. So that is part of that. I'm just going to do a quick shout out for myself because it would just do. I am featured in the catalog. I'm quoted in the bottom of the catalog. What makes this funny to me is it says... Patty, director, New Zealand. Now, that only works because I'm in New Zealand. Because the word, the name Patty without a last name in America? Hundreds. <laughs> so, apparently I'm the Patty in New Zealand. Like Madonna, but different. Or Oprah, but way different. Okay. So, I just had to give myself a little shout out for that one. Um, they talk about whiff boxes. We still have those every single month. You can get a selection, a surprise selection of products, um, valued over the amount that you paid. It talks about Scentsy Club, which I was just talking to you about. So, yep. Um, what do we have next? Oh, the flower. So, this, oops, <laughs> this now, I have heard from a couple people. Yes, Anne Marie, you can have a catalog. Anne Marie. I'll pop one in your order. Um, anybody that hosts the party, get theirs first. So, um, anybody that you want to have a bag party or a home party or a work party or anything like that, you get your catalogs always first with me. So, a lot of people have been getting theirs this week from me. So, um, I have heard that some people 
have tried these from other places and they didn't like them, but I am hoping you love ours. So Scentsy came out with, I haven't put mine together yet because I keep, I'm going to take it to parties. So, um, and I'm not a lover of the Lunas. I know you guys all love Luna. I am not a Luna lover. So, um, this is the jar. The flower sits on top of it like this. I could put it in and then take it back out, can I? So, there's a little stopper in there, though. Anyway, you take the cap off, you put the flower in. This is actually all handcrafted. No two flowers are alike. And they are thin pieces, actually, of wood crafted into a flower. And the wick goes inside of this. And this comes in four different scents. So the flower soaks up the fragrance and then basically um, the scent throw is given off from it soaking in the things. It's just a better way to do scent. Plus this has been designed that if it spills, it doesn't all leak out either. So that's a good thing. Um, just to tell you a little bit about them. These are perfect for coffee tables, desks at work, end tables, bedside tables, um, bathrooms, any place that you don't have a plug. Um, or like seriously, the coffee table thing is huge because you don't want cords or anything like that. And it's beautiful. So um, these will make a great gift for Christmas. Great, great gift for Christmas. They come in aloe water and cucumber, Amazon rain, Luna, and sea salt and avocado. Like, I'm like, please, I love sea salt and avocado. And I do like aloe water and cucumber as well. So there are, flower is handcrafted of natural material. So no two are exactly alike. Absorbs and holds fragrance oil for up to 60 days. Simple, elegant design no co that complements any decor, no outlet required. Perfect for nightstands, desks, vanities, and other small spaces. Includes everything you need. A flower glass jar filled with fragrance oil and a decorative cap. Fragrance flower, they're $29.50 each. So for $29.50, that's an amazing gift. And obviously, if you share Scentsy with your friends, um, you can get it for free, obviously. Because that's how, that's how we work, right? So that is the Scentsy Fragrance Flower. These things will all be available as of the 2nd of September. Um, the next thing, <coughs> we have we have a new mini warmer. Oh, we have a couple, actually. One that says, you are, you, you are my sunshine. Looks like that. I've actually really liked that warmer. I'm not a fan of yellow, but I've always liked that warmer because America's had it for a little while. Um, so I am a little excited about that one. Not hugely excited, but a little excited. This was one of the first warmers ever created for Scentsy. So it is a classic curve warmer. So they brought that back. Um, I think they made it just a little bit more stylish, but it is very cool and very simple um, and sturdy. So, and it's only 55. So that is a great deal. Came out with every moment matters, kind of a faux wood grain. Um, so there's that one. Then we came out with, I'm going to show you this one in person because I have this one. We've been begging for this for a long time. <sighs> years, years we've been asking for this and it's finally here. So I just want to show something. When you guys get your mini warmers or your mini warmer bases, Yes, that's what I'm going to show you. You get bulbs. When you use, when you do your bulbs, um, what I tell people to do is push it up through the plastic, but don't touch the bulb if at all possible, because your fingers, the oils from your finger, get on the bulb and cre can create hot spots, and the bulb can blow. If the bulb blows, let me know, obviously. But we do sell replacement bulbs as well. And not all the filament is always equal on the bulb. So, you know, don't have a cow. Just we'll get it replaced. So this is a porcelain warmer base, but we also have glass ones as well. So no matter which mini warmer you have, you now can use it as a tabletop 
warmer. So you put the little, you put the bulb in. Oh, and it's, it's already flicked on. So there is a switch, an on off switch on the back. So this comes in one box, just the light bulb in that. And then we have our first metal mini warmer. So this is, it's got the glass dish, but this is all metal and see-through. So this is called Seashore and it has your, your um, kind of, this is the same base as the porcelain one. So you take this and you pop it on here. Probably have to put another washer. You get washers too to make them. But this is, um, where's that? I saw the, there it is. So that's a little bit better. So this is your, let's see if it, but that has the, the seascape on it. You can get this as well that goes into the wall. You just get a different base. You get a regular plug-in base as opposed to the base with the cord and the, and the desktop so it can sit. That's the whole point is that it can just sit in a small space once again. Um, so that's quite handy. That's why we wanted those because we like the small warmers. We just don't always have plugs in the right places. So that works for this. All right. So that is that. Any questions so far? Um, we also have two other mini warmers on this page. So we have Starlings and Rosie. So the, that is Starlings, which I love, and Rosie, which somebody will love. <laughs> ah, I'm not the floral girl. Sorry, kids. I know a lot of you are, but that's why we have so many choices and things. So those are new. Um, we also have this one, which is called Gilded, um, and that's all hand tiled. So that's a beautiful warmer as well. So that is Gilded. Um, this one's really cool. It's remember how we had the white etched core? We still have that. Um, well, this is the rose gold etched core. Love that because we all know rose gold is so hot right now. So that's a beautiful, very simple, but beautiful warmer. Um, so that is that one. This, here's the thing. I earned all these warmers. They still haven't been delivered yet. Otherwise I would have shown them all to you live, but, um, in the last incentive, I want all the new warmers, um, uh, or earned all the new warmers. So they haven't been shipped yet, but they're coming because I wish I could show you this one close up. Um, this is a very, very, very cool warmer. It's called Bright Like a Diamond. And it is, it's like a cross between a drag queen sequin gown and a mermaid and I don't know, the galaxy. It's, it's just a cool warmer. It's a really cool warmer. Um, so I'm looking forward to receiving that. Um, Mother of Pearl. This picture does not do it justice. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Because I looked at it and went, ugh, pearls, ew. And then I saw it in person and went, oh. Because it's not quite pearl. It's like iridescent. It's hard to explain. Because I kept going, oh, it's going to look like somebody took the things that you use to make greeting cards and just strapped them on. <laughs> High expectations, can I tell you. I was like, oh, it's going to look like you bought stuff out the dollar store and stuck it on the glass. It doesn't. It's amazing. But this catalog photo does nothing for it. I'm sensi. No, no, it is beautiful. So I have one of those coming. So I'll just be taking that to the parties. Um, hopefully it comes soon. All right. So then we have our waxes. Um, we're quite excited about these because a lot of people have been asking for these, but we now have a Mickey and Minnie warmer. And these are with, because it's classic Minnie and classic Mickey Mouse, and then the classic um, Scentsy Warmer. What's really cool about them, though, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the holes actually have the little Minnie, the ears. It's like a mouse head. So that reflects onto the wall as well. So we're, we're quite chuffed with those. So those will be available on the second. Um, 
Oh, yes. Forgot about that. It's like redoing. Um, We've been missing a couple key people from the Mickey Mouse family in the catalog. So we had Mickey and Minnie, Donald and Daisy, and now Goofy and Pluto. So Goofy and Pluto are going to be part of the catalog as well. So you and your loved ones can all squeeze. Are you a Goofy, Plu are you a goofy person or a Pluto person? I think I'm more of a Pluto person. But quite excited about those. <laughs> okay, you guys, you guys that really love me, you you can only imagine my reaction when I saw this next product. And my teams and anybody that knows me. Look. It is a doll with pink hair. Who has a little unicorn buddy? I shit you not. You know damn well the brown girl in my kit and the pink haired girl are going to be best buddies. I am so excited about this is the kind of child I need. That That's all, the only one I need. Fantastic. So excited. Capri her name is. I'm like you should have named her Patsy. Um, and her and her friend Cal Calypso the Unicorn. So um, she will be in the Scentsy Friends category. Um, still got the crazy haired one down here. You know. she's she, She's got problems that one. Um, but. Yay, a pink-haired girl. Yay. Taking over the world, I tell you. And then you may or may not notice, but in this picture, there's some other unicorns. So we have a full-size unicorn, a buddy clip unicorn, and now a blanky buddy unicorn, which is totally cool. Um, so our blanky buddies, there it is. Where am I? There I am. Um, Zoe, the unicorn. And she smells like berry fairy tale. So, so cool. I'll, I'll be showing you some other photos on my page. I just, after I do this video, because um, this is also where I just show everybody. And then because I was in Australia, I took pictures of all the things. So Diva, Diva the Unicorn and Candy Crave is one of the new sidekicks. You know, the crinkly arms and crinkly leg ones. And then, of course... We have two new Scentsy Buddy clips, since the other ones had to go. This one is Hattie the Collie, which smells like sun-kissed citrus. So um, he's got a little tail, and he's got his little Scentsy footprint in there, and he smells like sun-kissed citrus. So that is Hattie, and there, this is the dog. It's a Collie. I don't know if I see that, but it's cute anyway. They got Hobo the Cat. Now, Hobo the Cat, for people that don't know, so this is Hobo the Cat, and Hobo is Heidi and Orville's cat. And if you ever watch their end of the month videos that they do on their page, um, Hobo tends to make a lot of appearances. And in my opinion, they don't let her appear enough. So I'm just saying. But... We still have all the other ones. We still have the unicorn, the flamingo, the cat. Now we have a dog and a cat and zip and candy crave. All right. Next thing is, now you saw me talk about these already, but these are the diffuser wall fans. So I'm going to grab my extension cord and show you these. We got them at, um, they come in this really cute box. I have to say, I'm all about the cute box. Um, and we have some new scented pods that have been coming out and this is the Scentsy wall diffuser. So it is hard plastic. Oh, it reminds me very much of like a nice smooth blow dryer. You know how it's very sturdy. That's how this reminds me. It still has the, the button is down here and then this turns so that you can, oops whatever which way your plug is, you can turn that so that it's always the right way. Okay? Where am I going? Going that way. All right. So how this works is you pull this off just like that. 
it's just a, a shell. And then this is the inside of it. Good God. All right, so that's the inside of it. There's the little fan. So remember in your Scentsy Go, your fan's in there. Same thing. Same thing, right? So you take your Scentsy Pod, you can put in one, or you can put in two, and you put the top back on just like that, and you're ready to go. And then you plug it in. Lavender cotton pods, everybody. Woo! Very excited about that. So when you plug them in, this is the only light there is. You can kind of hear. It makes a little noise. But because it's always in power and it's plugged in, the scent throw is incredible. You don't, I don't think you need to. Um, incredible scent throw. Incredible. Um, because it's always getting the power as opposed to the battery, even though this is still my favorite. Don't get me wrong. This is still my favorite. Um, this is amazing. If you work in a preschool or just a regular school or you are a realtor and do open homes and you need instant scent, popping a couple of these around, amazing. You could, Amazing. So like, it's instant scent. You don't have to wait for anything to heat up. You don't have to worry about spilling. You don't have to worry about water. You don't have to worry about pets' tails in and out of the wax. You don't have to worry about spilling it. Um, one of the things that my customers with the mini warmers always, they have them and the husbands take them out of the wall to use the plug, but they don't realize there's wax in it and they spill wax everywhere or the kids do that. Don't You don't have that problem with this. And it comes in... Um, we have three different styles. This style is called Star. Star. Anybody else watch Lost Boys? Every time I say the word Star, because um, the girl's name was Star in the Lost Boys. Um, but that is how the mini wall fan. And honestly, if you had to plug it in upside down, it would still work. Could be like. A dryer for your cat it would take forever but <laughs> just saying so who do you know that could use some great scent but maybe and look the kids can't hurt themselves it's it nothing heats up nothing's dangerous it's a great 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 solution for many many people um bathrooms things like that so if you're looking for to have one of these they're 46 the pods are 1850 um this month obviously pods are on sale and we do have the six pack buy five get one free pack of pods um and then we have the buy three save a dollar as well so um if you're interested in one of these also let me know or if you'd want one for free obviously you can host a party and get yours for free all right now it comes in swirl or spin spin stack and then star spin stack and store star sorry once it's in my head i can't get it out um we have a couple new fragrances so as i mentioned lavender cotton sheer leather who's a happy camper i am um and very merry cranberry so we'll have those and eskimo kisses back for the holidays um, and World Traveler has been added as well. So I love my Mystery Man pods. I tend to mix a scent from America called Weathered Leather with one of the Mystery Man pods because then it smells to me like a mysterious sexy cowboy. Um, but now I could use World Traveler or Sheer Leather mixed with a Mystery Man. So many ideas. So many ideas. So... Um, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 different pod fragrances that you can get for your Scentsy Go or Scentsy Wall Diffuser. All right. Any questions? I'm just going to keep going. What time is it? 8.30. Okay. I'm almost done. Um, I do have to say I just purchased one of the oils from this past catalog or the one that we're in but it's going to be around next in the next catalog it's called blackberry basil or basil as you say here sorry i got something in my eye 
If you like black raspberry vanilla in a wax, you will probably really like this scent in an oil. That's all I gotta say, because I smelt it and went, oh my God, that's so weird. It smells like black raspberry vanilla to me. So um, just an idea, just a side note. Um, we, um, pink cotton has come in all of the bath fragrances and body fragrances. So um, pink cotton hand soap, yes, the pink cotton wax is leaving but the pink cotton in all the body stuff is coming. So hand soap, lotion, body wash. Um, oh no. Yeah. Bath bomb, body cream, body wash, hand cream, hand soap, lotion, and scentsy soak. So if you love pink cotton, it's a great way to do it. So of course, all of our bath stuff. Laundry, the new scent of this season is shimmer. Um, and I know you guys are going to be so excited about shimmer. Um, I am not a shimmer lover because I can't really smell it. But the laundry stuff, love it. Love it before, love it during, and love it after. Love it all the way through. I may be a shimmer convert because of the laundry. It's amazing. It's amazing. Great scent. Great scent. I think it would be really good. Just You could even mix it with a scoop of jammy time. There's seriously something in my eye and it's driving me insane. Um, what else? Nothing new in cleaning. Oh, Scentsy Pets. So as you may or may not have seen, we now have Scentsy Pet products. Um, they are 100% vegan. They're made with mild pet safe fragrances. They're made in the USA. Boop, boop. Um, the first product is a Best Bud Suds Pest Shampoo. All products come in three scents, honey chamomile, oatmeal and aloe, and orange zest and nectar. A little goes a very, very, very long way. Um, it is sulfate free. I just want to quickly read this um, so I don't screw it up. Moisturizing shampoo includes aloe, sunflower oil, and colloidal oatmeal to gently cleanse and condition your pet while hydrating dry, itchy skin. Infused with a touch of scentsy fragrance to leave your furry friend smelling fresh. This is not just for dogs. It's for cats. People have used it on their kids. Um, people have used it on their guinea pigs and their rabbits and all these things. So it's safe for all pets. Um, it just happens to have a dog and a cat on it. So feel free to use your imagination. Um, the next one is the No Knot Spot. So No Knot Spot looks like that. Um, polished pups unite this matte busting spray easily removes tangles and keeps dogs looking dapper and smelling fresh while aloe sunflower oil and colloidal oatmeal condition the coat and skin I'm actually gonna try it on the cat too this has a dog on it but not a cat but if you have long-haired cats I'm gonna try it on the cat because why not um, so that comes again in those three fragrances and you all know I pet sit so I'll be trying things <laughs> everybody's pets your pets will smell better than when you left um dog deodorizing spray so this is like you know axe body spray for dogs and cats you know making you a little extra meow um so does your doggy need to de-stink why do they th dogs don't stink unless their parents don't pamper them properly um except for if it rains that's the only time that I'll mm. um, use this odor neutralizing spray in between baths to conquer those PU moments with a burst of scentsy fragrance infused with aloe, colloidal oatmeal, and sunflower oil to condition and coat the skin. So, again, I would use it on anything. I will say that I've seen a lot of people using the No Not Spot on their kids, and it's worked, and they've liked it, and also on dolls, because you know how dolls get really matty and um, naughty a lot of times if they're not loved properly. Um, this is, we've seen pictures of people really using it for that for different reasons. So um, give it a whirl. It's all safe. You're all good to go. And um, let me know if you would like um, some pet products for your pups and cats and all those furry friends. Um, the shampoo is $27.50, and the dog deodorizing spray and the detangler is $18.50. Um, is that everything I want to show you? Oh, yes, one more thing. So, you know how um, 
our car bars look like this. Well, Scentsy has come out with, um, what are they called exactly? Scentsy Car Bar Clips. So they're a bit smaller. If you look in my business page in my profile, in the photo, I'm holding a two pack and they come in a two pack and they look like this. There's a lot of places apparently in Australia where you can't hang things from your mirror or some people just don't like to hang things from their mirror. So these clip onto your vent and they make your car smell nice. Obviously I can't say anything and yay or nay on these yet because I haven't got one. Um, I was hoping they would have given us one of those <laughs> so we could have tried it when we got home, but they didn't. So I'm going to have to get one and I will report back, but um, I'm quite excited because one, they're cute. Um, and two, if they're anything like these, it should be amazing. So, and they come in a two pack, so better yet. And they are only $16.50 and a normal car bar is 11. So that's cool too. Good, good, good deal. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, for those of you that always have complained at my parties, there is now a $92 warmer bundle. Whoop, whoop. Cause a lot of people got upset about that there's not never a 92 one um i think everything else is pretty much the same um i think i have done everything now uh two quick things if you haven't already seen my post you need to pay attention because um we have darth vader warmer and a dark side wax bar coming they are while supplies last. I have a feeling they're going to go fast. The last things that have been selling at have been selling at within minutes. So they hope they'll last longer. But if you want a Darth Vader, we think they're going to be. It's an amazing warmer to the point where I don't even know where I'd put it. But I want one because it's just badass. It's If you have a Star Wars lover person in your life, you need to get this warmer. It is it, it is beautiful. It is badass. It is detailed. It has, it, it legit looks like the Star Wars, like Darth Vader's mask. And then when you take the top off, it has the Death Star in the dish. And there are TIE fighters in the, um, the cutouts in the back and it has a red bulb instead of a white bulb so that it shows the red on the wall with the TIE fighters. It's very cool. You need one. So the other thing that is expected to sell out that will be available, this, um, I'm not sure when Darth is coming. He could come tomorrow. I don't know. So, but if you want one, let me know. Um, Disney's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skeleton um, Pumpkin King Scentsy Warmer is coming on the 2nd of September and it is expected to probably sell out. They've had to order some more because people have, the chatter has been so amazing for it. But that is your, your Jack Skeleton Warmer. The dish also has um, fun things in it as well. So this is our Halloween um, collection. These are all while supplies last. So there is a Sugar Skull um, a Mini Warmer. You can get the tabletop base or you can get the wall plug, whichever one you prefer. And then we have Mr. Bones is back. Um, what was he called again? Dearly Departed. Um, he's been here before. So those are your three items for Halloween. Um, to me, that's Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> But um, these are amazing. So again, while supplies last, and then for those of you that don't do Halloween, we or do Halloween and want something else, um, we have the 2019 Spring Collection. So we have this really weird warmer called Glass Half Full. It looks like it's a half full milk. Basically, it looks like my room when I was growing up because apparently I had glasses that are half full of milk while I was growing up because I never finished them. Um, and then this really cute pear warmer is down here. Um, perfect. So that one's been, people have been a little bit happy about that one, if that's your jam. And then we have this one, which again, you're going to have to see it. It's silver glitter. It's a silver glitter mini warmer. 
you can get it in a tabletop base or in a wall plug-in, but it's legit just sparkle. That's all it is. And you can't tell from this picture. It's amazing. Um, we also have laundry bundles in aloe water and cucumber. Scentsy body in blue grotto. Um, I will be buying all of that. I still have some of mine because I've been using it sparingly. But this is what a bag of Scentsy soap looks like. It's a very big size. Um, and I just absolutely love the smell. One of the things... People always think it's going to look like bath salts, but it doesn't. It looks like sand. Um, it's amazing. It turns the water blue. It's got Himalayan rock salt in it. Um, and it's also, it's got that Epsom salt in it so that it helps with relieve um, tension and sore muscles and smells good and makes you feel good. And seriously, oh, amazing. Amazing. With my Hello Kitty clip from Gail Ruddle from Japan. Thank you. Um, and then we also have Go Go Mango in the cleaning products while supplies last. So bathroom cleaner, counter clean, and dish soap. So these are all under, these will be under the collections tab in on my website um, on the 2nd of September. So again, if you want this one, if you want Jack, let me know and payment is 120 um, if you want Jack, let me know and I will stay up and make sure I get that for you as best as I can. Obviously nothing's guaranteed because we've been selling out of things in like seven minutes, 20 minutes lately. It's been insane and they've been ordering more. So, um, I'm just, we're really fortunate that we work someplace where everybody loves what we have. But, um, does anybody have any questions? I'm looking forward to sharing things. Um, I'll be getting a package with all the bars in it, and I'll be getting a package with all the warmers in it. So once those come, I'll show you in person all the things, all the things. But until then, feel free to book your own smelly session with me. Um, we can do a one-on-one, -on -one, or I can come to work, or I can come to your house, or you can just have your friends over some coffee, and we can just... We don't have to set up like a normal it, it can be whatever you want if you want the full entertainment great if you don't you just want to sit around a table and talk and eat and smell stuff we can do that too i'm pretty easy going so um don't all roll your eyes at me i can be easy going <laughs> so again if you have orders that you want using the sale this month from this catalog almost everything's 10 percent off this month so i'm putting the order in on saturday night so if you want anything before it goes away or to stock up on while it's on sale, do this. Order from me. Let me know what you want by Saturday night. If you want something from the new catalog, I'll be putting an order through on the 2nd. So if you want anything from this catalog, let me know that as well. And I'll put that order through on the 2nd as well. As well as these things. So the collection. So let me know. And um, thank you for hanging out with me. And um, I look forward to seeing you all and showing you all the new things and having you smell all the new things. And um, that's it. Any questions? Any questions? I'll, I know there's a delay, so I'll just wait a second. Um, and just while I quickly add it, while I'm waiting, um, if you join this month, wouldn't join right before Christmas. If you just need to make Christmas money, just join during Christmas and then quit after Christmas for God's sakes. Um, but you get an extra big kit this month for the same price. Why not join? You get all the new stuff, the catalogs and everything in it. So you don't have to buy all the new stuff and, um, you're going to be selling. Did you see what I just showed you? Plus we have Christmas stuff coming out at the beginning of October. So it's a great time to get in. It's a great time to just, why not? make Christmas a little extra brighter and um, make some extra money. Just saying. And if you're interested in a free cruise um, from New York to Bermuda, all expense paid, you can do that too. It's up to you. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. No questions, so I will head out now. Bye for now. Thanks for hanging out with me on Wonder... Oh, it's Thursday today, isn't it? It's Thursday. I kept thinking it was Wednesday. I hurt my head again. Just excuse me while I brain fart all over the place. All right. Good night.